Dotcom's review of the swing seat. The version we'll be reviewing today is the exact version. Here's the unboxing from MovieDemo.com. It's well packed, instruction manual up on the front. No textual instructions, just a picture diagram. Pretty simplistic installation. A few large pieces, and of course, I could have edited that blunder out, but what fun would that have been? So when you open your box, now you know that there's a few extra pieces, and that's probably why it weighs a little bit more. Anyway, moving on, here we go. This uh, portion was shot with our Canon SD790IS in time-lapse mode. There's no tools required on the build. The casters go in relatively easy. You install the uh, hydraulic hose, I think it's called. The seat goes on. And then, of course, another one of my uh, moments. Got to put the backrest on. Again, when you get yours, you'll know better. Armrests just slide in really easy. The uh, build pros. We have uh, no tools are required, so that's really nice. An incredibly easy install. I was impressed at the uh, ease of putting this thing together. Now, as for the first sit, I was pretty excited uh, when I learned that the armrests are stationary and that I could actually position them above the desk. And then you can also drop them down and uh, move them below the desk. So just to give you an idea of controls of it. The armrest uh, is like a tension knob, you just increase the tension. The backrest tilt knob rotates 360 degrees completely, it just spins round and round. There's uh, a few settings, uh, I don't know, I'm sitting in the chair right now, and I don't know, maybe three, four settings to increase the tension. Basically, just as you turn the knob, it just takes it from like the next level up, next level up. Well, the knob is fine and it serves a purpose. I wish there was just something a little more technical, maybe a, a lever or something. Anyway, backrest extension works really cool. You can extend the backrest height adjustment. Hydraulic, you just uh, you know flip the knob, it can move the chair up and down. And the controls are the same on the left side of the chair as they are on the right, except for the hydraulics. Sizing it all up, in case you're interested in learning about the dimensions of the chair. The seat width. 19 inches wide. If you need a little wider than that, uh, I'll refrain from any comments. The armrest, from armrest to armrest, 26 inches wide in case you're working in tight quarters. The height, backrest height, 21 inches from the seat to the top. And this, I need to sit down in the chair because it's set for my setting. Here's the lowest, lowest floor to seat, 15 to 16 inches ish from the floor to the top of the backrest. In case you're working in a cave or something with a low ceiling, 36 inches, raising it up to the highest level. 41 inches, in case you're working in a larger cave or larger office building with a drop ceiling. 19 inches from the floor to seat, for those of you with uh, longer legs. Armrest, uh, 4x10. I don't know why I threw that in the board. Alright, the seat of the matter. Here's a little post-it note that I had written as I went along here. Uh, first thing I noticed open in the box was the smell. It, it wasn't a bad smell or a good smell. It was like that industrial factory smell. And it took about a week to go away. Again, not a big deal. It did uh, finally dissipate. The ease of the build. No tools required. Very easy to build. The first sit, uh, we got an email from them as well as a uh, note in the box itself talking about the first sit and how to set it up. It seemed like very crucial that you put it in this position before you do anything else and that added to some why do I have to do this question mark type stuff. But uh, eventually got we just found our, our, our found what I was comfortable with and it works great. The back rest knob is pretty cool. Uh, you can adjust it. This is for depth, you know, slide it back and forth. 
The backrest tension knob, I wish it could have been a little bit better, a little stronger, and eh, not stronger, a little more a little more defined on what setting you're actually in. Uh, and then the, I don't know what, uh, what is my next, what is the height of the desk? Oh, we talked about that earlier in the review. Uh, good communication, very good email with them in terms of when it's shipped, wh uh, what's in stock, and then a little note when it arrived telling us the seat position. So um, very con they're very uh, aware of that they sold a product to you and they, uh, they keep you uh, really well informed. And another little note here is probably the uh, the only real negative. Eh, it's not so much of a negative. The armrests, when you get up and down, tend to uh, move. Even I've had I have it pretty tight, and I just standing up, they move slightly. And it's not that big of a deal. I can reposition them, put them back into place without much drama. And actually, I, I kind of like uh, sort of like spinning them in over like my legs, kind of like a Star Trek uh, captain's chair type of thing. The other item is that they could have grooved the metal rods that stick down in the chair for the armrest. Now, if they groove them too much, then that limits the, um, uh, how shall I say, the customability of it. However, they could have threaded it a little bit, but eventually the threads would, uh, you know, strip. So, uh, possible solutions to that, but not that big of a deal. So, the big question, what's the therapeutic value of the chair? In a nutshell, for me, I have no idea. I'm no expert. Um, on a personal level, I definitely prefer it over my old chair. You know, it's more comfortable. I can move around it. And I do see how movement does help, you know, muscles that wouldn't normally be moving to be moving. So that's obviously a good thing. As for leg pain, I really never suffered from that in a normal chair, so I can't really comment on that. As for back pain, thankfully, right now at this moment, I don't have any. However, I do do a lot of landscaping and I deal with a lot of rock. And that was my concern that, uh, you know, I, I didn't want to hurt or damage my back. Plus, I spend an enormous amount of time playing video games as well as doing reviews like this and video editing that goes on and on and on because I don't know when to shut up. And uh, what was I saying? All right, so what it comes down to, just to put the cherry on top of this review, uh, we were in the market for a computer chair. Uh, this was the right price for us compared to other chairs that we were looking at, and we got no regrets. We had very good customer service with them, uh, good email communication. Shipping was fairly quick. They did ship at ground, but given the weight of the chair, you know, that, that's the way it's going to have to be. So no regrets. Um, it, it's, I can only see it being a benefit over a normal chair given the movement and the flexibility of it. Really like the fact that the armrests stay stationary so that you can move them above the desk and you know you can pivot in your chair and, and your arms can stay on the, uh, the armrest without uh, any interaction or any uh, conflict with your desk. So all in all, uh, great chair. If you're in the market for a computer chair and the price is right, I, uh, I recommend you go out and get a swing seat. This is Kevin Carney with Game Demo. Well, no, it's actually MovieDemo.com, but I do work for Game Demo as well. And if you're in the market for games, by all means, visit GameDemo.com. Hope you enjoyed the review. Sir!